everybody, it's Mike Wardinsky here with NatureMike.com, and I'm going to show you how to find your missing photos and or folders in Lightroom Classic should they go missing. But before we get started, I want to talk about a few precautionary measures that will help prevent you from losing your photos in the first place. Um, organization is key when it comes to Lightroom. In most cases, you don't want to have folders on more than one hard drive, and it's ideal to have all of your photos in one space. So if you look over here on my left-hand side, I have one drive, and then all of my photos are underneath the single parent folder. Now, normally you'd have a lot more folders over here, but this is just for example purposes. Now, if you find the Lightroom interface confusing, don't worry, I've got a great video that will help walk you through how to properly set up your Lightroom catalog and help prevent you from losing photos in the future. Click the link in the top right corner of the screen if you'd like to watch that video first. So let's talk about some Lightroom basics. You should never rename your photos outside of the Lightroom interface. You should never move them outside of the Lightroom interface. And you should never move folders that contain photos that are in Lightroom outside of the Lightroom interface, meaning in the Finder or in Microsoft Explorer. Everything should be done within here. So if I want to rename a photo, let's say I've got uh, these trees here, and if I want to rename this, all I have to do is head over to my library and go down to the Metadata tab, open that up, make sure it's set to default, and then right where it says File Name, you can name this to anything you want. So right now it's called tree pan with the file number. Let's call it Aspen tree pan. Oops. And everything is well and good. We, our photo is still intact. Now let's watch what happens when we do that in the finder. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to navigate to my tree pan. I believe that's in folder two. And now I'm going to rename this, and I'm just going to take out the word Aspen and hit Enter. So I'm in the Finder here, and when I come back to Lightroom, look what happens. We get this little exclamation point. And anytime you see this exclamation point, that's not good. That's Lightroom saying, something's up, I've lost connection to the photo. So if we click on this, it'll say you can't find it. So you have the option to locate it. And if you know what you named the photo, that's not a really a big deal. We can go to locate. I'll go to tree pan and hit select. And it's telling me that I renamed or the, the file name's different. Do I am I sure that I, I want to connect this photo? And I know it's what I want, so I'll hit confirm. And you can see over here my file name changed to tree pan instead of aspen tree pan. And our, our file is back online. We lost that little exclamation point. Now, if you renamed a lot of photos outside of Lightroom, you're going to be in a little bit of a mess here. You're going to have to find each one individually and do what I just did for each individual photo. That's why you always, always, always rename within Lightroom. Now, if you're sitting here watching this thinking, oh my God, I renamed so many photos and they're all disconnected now, what am I going to do? Well, the truth is, you're in a little bit of a pickle. Um, the good news is, you didn't lose those photos, more than likely, but you may have lost the edits. Because you can always synchronize Lightroom with your hard drive. The problem is, if your photos are offline, you lose the edits. It'll come back in as it did, just as it came from your camera as a raw file with no edits. If you're in that situation and you, you've you tried to look for the photos and, or you just have way too many to go through, you can always come up to your parent folder and I'll control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and choose synchronize folder. And this will show you if there's photos outside of Lightroom but on your hard drive within the the parent folder that you clicked on. And that's, again, what, as I mentioned in the beginning of the, the video, why you should always have all of your photos underneath a single parent folder so you can easily do things like this. Um, if you did have some, you just hit synchronize. I like to check show import dialog so you can actually see what they are before you start the import. And then just, again, hit synchronize. Okay, so now let's talk about moving folders. So if I go to my, my finder, 
I should never move these folders here. I should move them within Lightroom. So I can take folder two and knock it over to folder one and really nothing changes other than I have a subfolder now of folder one and then folder two. And I can take folder two and bring it back over and everything's exactly as it was. We got folder one and folder two. Now we run into an issue when we do that over here. So I'm just gonna take folder two and I'm gonna put it in this, uh, this folder called never move folders outside of Lightroom. And now I'm gonna come back over to Lightroom and now we look here, you see folder two now has a question mark. And when I click here, all of the photos within this have um, are, are disconnected. These ones don't have the exclamation point, but if I go to the develop module, it'll say the file can't be found because Lightroom doesn't know where that folder is. So I'll hit G to go back to the grid view. Now, if I come back to my finder and take folder two and just drop it right back where it's supposed to be, right where Lightroom thinks it is, look at it, it comes right back online. So you can kind of manually do that, but let me show you another way to do it. So we'll go back over to the finder and drop it back here. So folder two got disconnected. I can control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and choose find missing folder. And if I know where the folder is, I can easily come to my finder. There it is. And I'll, uh, it's folder two, hit choose. And all my photos are back online. Now you'll notice that I no longer have all my folders underneath a single parent folder. So I wanna change that back. So I'll go back to the finder, take folder two and put it into here. And of course, folder two is now offline again. Let me show you one more way you could reconnect these. So now let's pretend that we don't know where folder two is. But we know the name because it, it says it right here, folder two. So I can come down to my finder, choose my working hard drive where all my photos are, and then I can do a search for folder two. And this is gonna come up in alphabetical order. And if I scroll down to F, way down here, somewhere down here, keep going. Wow, it's a lot of folders. So here's E. There's folder two. And this is gonna show me exactly where folder two is on my hard drive. So once I know this, it's a good idea to write down this path. That way you know how to find it. So it's 2022, example catalog, example photos, and then folder two. So now I can go to find missing folder. Example photos, there it is, folder number two, choose, and now everything's back online. So now let's talk about renaming folders. Again, you should only do this within the Lightroom interface. You don't want to do it on the hard drive. Uh, so if I come over here, I can control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and choose rename. And we'll call it, let's we'll call it folder three. And you can see it updated. And if I come over to my hard drive, there it updated there as well, folder three. Now I'm gonna rename this again, but on the hard drive, this time folder two, showing you what you shouldn't do. And coming back to Lightroom, you can see it was disconnected. So again, I can control click on a Mac, right click on a PC, and I can choose find missing folder. Now this time, let's pretend that we don't know what the hell we named this folder to. So if I come over here, I can see these uh, couple of images that are in it. Let me just click on this one. It says tree pan. So what I could do, I do know the name of the photo that's supposed to be in the folder. I just don't know the new name of the folder. So I can come down to my finder and I wanna make sure that I have my external drive where I have my photos stored, selected. And then I'm gonna do a search for tree pan. Tree, whoops. Tree pan. And 
want to make sure I have my hard drive selected. And so if I click on this, I can see my folder structure. And right there, folder two is where tree pan should be. And so now I know the name of this folder. So if we go back into Lightroom, control click or right click on a PC and choose find missing folder. And there it is, folder two, choose. And now it's synced and you can see that the, the name changed as well. Now, sometimes you can have disconnected or missing photos in your Lightroom catalog and not even know it. If you navigate to library and scroll down to find all missing photos, this will scan your library for any missing photos and put them in a missing photos collection underneath the catalog. It's not a bad idea to, to run this every once in a while just to make sure your Lightroom is in order. Okay, well, there you have it. I hope this video helped clear up any confusion about reconnecting your photos in Lightroom. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And lastly, check out naturemike.com for more videos, articles, and workshops. See you in the next video.